sub guys over of here with a short updated version on the scroll testnet guide as usual all links gonna be in description but follow them at your own risk so recently well relatively recently scroll announced that they are moving into the final phase of their testnet before uh, launching the mainnet this testnet is gonna be called scroll sepolia and this is actually based on the announcement this is going to be running in parallel to the mainnet even once the mainnet is launched so it is indeed the final version of the testnet for the foreseeable future and based on its name it's utilizing Sepolia as an L1 instead of Gurley. And in this video we're going to be doing activities on this updated testnet, it's probably going to be uh, our last activities on the testnet and then our main actions our main strategy obviously gonna carry on on the mainnet also majority of apps hasn't migrated to the new version of the testnet so here what we're gonna do we're gonna do native bridging then interacting on the native dex uh, then we're gonna interact with one third party app this is going to be actually a stable swap app that we haven't interacted previously on the testnet. This is relatively new and it's actually quite interesting because it's also live on Tyco testnet and also we're going to deploy a smart contract. We're going to begin with the native bridge. Obviously you will need some Sepolia ETH. There are multiple faucets, I will link them in description. Luckily getting Sepolia ETH is not a problem compared to Gurley even though more and more apps more and more chains are actually moving into Sepolia. And before bridging also if you don't have Ethereum Sepolia and scroll Sepolia in your MetaMask on the main page uh, of the testnet portal there are buttons add to MetaMask you can add both here. Then regarding bridging I need to switch to Ethereum Sepolia. You don't have to bridge much, obviously there are no limitations. If that's your first time actually getting Sepolia ETH, you're probably gonna have like 0.5. So in this case, I suggest just bridge 0.4 and leave 0.1 for gas. In my case, I'm just gonna move my one ETH. Also keep in mind that currently this bridge is fairly slow. So you will have to wait. Sepolia part of the transaction is going to go fast. It will, well, for me, it took like 10 seconds. Then it says approximately 20 minutes remaining for the bridging transaction as a, as a whole to complete. Now, I actually did bridging a couple of days ago. And at that time, it took roughly like 17 to 18 minutes also so reports that for some people it took like 40 minutes so just be prepared to wait basically what i'm saying and once your eth arrives let's go ahead and do the reverse transaction from scroll sepolia to ethereum sepolia you don't have to withdraw much just like some small amount basically Here bridge works differently because you will also need to claim manually. Also there is a button here, transaction history. So if you close the page accidentally, for example, you can uh, reopen it and then connect your wallet and go to transaction history and see your transactions. All right, let's move on to the native DEX, which is basically the fork of the Uniswap. Here just make sure that you are on scroll Sepolia. Here we got ETH on the top and we're gonna swap it to, well, we don't have much of a choice. Let's use this GHO token. I'm not sure what this is, but. Again, the volume is up to you, but I would recommend using at least 0.1. Okay, and it failed. Okay, let's try it with a different gas. I'm not sure if it's failing because of gas or something else. Uh, but I will just increase gas limit like 3x and base Opal 3 instead of 2. We'll see how it goes. Okay, it's failing. Why is it failing? Okay, let's set slippage manually to let's say 20% and then I'll use or less of an amount. 
Maybe it's not a gas issue. Yep, successful. Yeah, so it seems like it's not a gas issue. It's the issue of slippage. So if your transactions are failing, try to manually put high slippage here. Okay, now we go to pools. And we're gonna do ETH with GHO pool. Gonna use full range. Maximum amount of GHO, we need to approve. All right, confirmed. And we're gonna add. And after we add in, we're also gonna remove some of that liquidity right away. As basically, I would say this is, well, at least this is my last interaction with the scroll test net, most likely, unless I actually need to do it for some specific apps. Okay, going here and removing some, I'll just do 50%. All right. Okay, so we are all done here. Now let's move to third party app. I don't know how to properly pronounce it, probably VUI, but if I'm butchering, sorry about that. It's V O O I. So this is a stable swap app. Uh, it's currently live on Scroll Sepolia testnet and also on Tyco testnet. So if you want to do additional on-chain task on Tyco, you can also use this like on the top here after connecting the wallet, you can select scroll or you can select Tyco. Since it's a stable swap, we need to get some testnet tokens. There is a button here, get tokens. Let's get some USDTs. All right, we got that and let's swap them to USDCs. Currently slippage at 0.2%. Let's see if that's gonna work. Approving. Great, now swap. Great, confirmed. So if you want, you can play more of this app on Scrollspole and also on Tyco worth mentioning that they call these testnet incentivized testnet, although I haven't seen any concrete announced rewards for that, but you can probably find more information uh, regarding this on the Discord. Okay, now let's go back to bridge. If you go to transaction history, as you can see, there is now claim button. It's currently not active. If we hover, it says scroll provers are still finalizing your transaction. This can take up to four hours. And once that is completed, then you can claim it on Cipolla E. One more type of transaction that I recommend doing just once, once should be enough, is just sending transaction. You can just copy your wallet address and you can go ahead and send yourself some ETH. Again, make sure that you are on scroll Cipolia. And the last type of on-chain transaction that we're gonna do here is deploying smart contract. This is gonna be exactly as previously. The only difference is gonna be the chain. As usual, we are going to Remix and in default workspace. If this is empty, again, you're creating workspace and then here in contracts, you're gonna see you should see at least three files, storage.sol, owner, and ballot.sol. We're gonna use storage as usual. Here we just need to compile this .sol file. We go into Solidity Compiler, and here you select Compiler Version. I'll recommend using 820. If for some reason that doesn't work, you can go one version previously, so do 819, because sometimes there could be issues. So we click in Compile, you see this green check mark, and now we can move to deploying. Here again, make sure that you are on Cipolla scroll. In environment, we need to select injected provider MetaMask. If for some reason you're using different wallet, or sometimes in the case of using MetaMask, actually this happens. I don't know why, but it may say just injected provider without the word MetaMask. Now we click in here, make sure that it shows correct wallet address. 
of your wallet. You don't need to change anything here and we just click in deploy, confirming transaction and waiting for the green check mark in the bottom window. Okay, we got it. Now let's open MetaMask and check. Now, as you can see, we have contract deployment. So that's gonna be it regarding on-chain stuff. As for off-chain, I'm not sure if claiming the Jural is still available, but if you don't have it, you can try to claim it. You can join the Discord freely now, by the way, if you're still not in it for some reason, as they increased the cap of the members. So yeah, just join Discord and get the Jural if that's still available. Again, I'm not sure. If you know, let me know in the comments. That's gonna be it for this video. Video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Drop your questions and suggestions in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.